Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. So, the past couple lessons, we've gone over how you can mask out information from the left-hand side of a variable. And today, we are going to go over how you mask out information from the right-hand side. Here is our program name. Everything today, though, is all commented out. There's no actual running of a program today. And our program will go over how to mask out from the right hand side. And just to review, left masking, here's the format. You have a variable and you assign a value to it. And then somewhere later on in your program, when you want to do left-hand masking, you do something like this. You have your variable name, and you have your dollar sign, open curly brace, and close curly brace at the end. And inside of the curly braces, you have your variable name, a pound sign, and then the pattern or characters you want to try to remove from whatever gets plopped in right here. And of course this will be removed from the left hand side if it exists on the left hand side. So in this example this would expand out to dollar sign var1 minus a leading capital H because that's what we have up there and dollar sign var1 expands out to hot dog and then we minus from it a leading capital H if it exists which it does and that leaves us just with OT space DOG now, masking from the right-hand side is very similar to masking from the left-hand side. We have the same basic format. We have the dollar sign and the curly brace in the curly brace. We have our variable that we want its value to be placed right here. And instead of a pound sign, we have a percent sign. And that means try to remove the following from the contents that get put right here and try to remove it from the right hand side. So here's what happens. Corn shell sees all of this and it takes and says I have var1, get the contents of it and plop it down right here and then try to remove from the right hand side a trailing lowercase g. So this right here ends up expanding out to contents of dollar sign var1 do dollar sign substitution and try to minus from it a trailing lowercase g. So var3 will end up equaling hot dog because that's what's inside of var1 minus a trailing lowercase g and we end up with hot space do. So we have some examples and these are all commented out. However, I did actually run them on the command line and I posted the output along with the examples. And our first example, we have var1, we assign to it the words hot dog, and we then create a variable called var3, and we assign to it this, which says dollar sign curly brace, var1, percent sign, lowercase g, curly brace, and this says take the contents of var1, put them right here, so that's hot dog, and try to remove from the right hand side a lowercase 
g. Therefore, because hot dog does end in a lowercase g, we end up with this. Next, we try to take and to put into var3 this. Well, it says dollar sign curly brace var1 percent sign uppercase g. So we take the contents of var1, put them right there, and then this says try to remove from the right hand side in uppercase g. Well, our contents of var1 does not end with an uppercase g. Therefore, we have nothing that we can remove, and var3 ends up with hot dog. Next, we try to assign to var3 the following. Dollar sign curly brace, var1, percent sign, question mark, lowercase g, curly brace. And that says this right here. Question mark means any single character and then we have a lowercase g. So what happens here? Once again we take the contents of var1, put them right there, so we have hot dog, and then this says remove from the right hand side any single character followed by a g, if we can match that pattern. Well, any single character followed by a g would be og, Therefore, we remove those two characters and we are left with HOT space D being left right here and that gets assigned to VAR3. And next line, we have dollar sign curly brace VAR1, percent sign three question marks, and a curly brace. So this says take the contents of R1, put them right there. So we take hot dog, put it right there. And then this says remove from the right hand side any three characters. So we end up removing DOG. And we are left with HOT space. The last example here, we have dollar sign curly brace var1 parenthesis space asterisk close curly brace. Breaking this down we put hot dog right here and then it says remove from the right hand side if you can a space followed by anything or nothing. So in our example that matches a space followed by anything. So we are just left with the word hot.